Hey everyone, welcome to the Wayscript channel. My name is Derek and today I want to show you how we can build a personalized website that will host our resume and also a contact form. We'll build this all using the Wayscript platform. Let's jump over to see the finished example first. Here's the small sample web page that we'll be building in this tutorial. We see I have a personalized page with my name, a few fun facts, and then a contact form below. The way I had this set up is that whenever someone fills out this form, I've got a Wayscript trigger to send me an email directly to my inbox. Of course, you can customize this HTML code however you would like, and there's a lot more that I could do to this page, but I'll show you just how easy it is to create something simple in just a few minutes. If you haven't used Wayscript before, what it allows us to do is integrate APIs from many different services into one workflow. We do this using the Wayscript modules. If you would like to sign up for Wayscript, click the link in the description and sign up for your free account. But for now, let's build that personalized web page. We'll jump over to the Wayscript platform. Here on the Wayscript platform, we'll click on create a new script. And this one will be personalized web page. We'll click create. Since we're building a website, we need to create an HTTP trigger. We'll click on add trigger and then choose the HTTP trigger. This will give us an endpoint that the user will go to. We'll activate it by clicking it on. And this will be the URL that the user will go to to see your personalized website. Now let's put in a few output variables. We'll say one will be name. Then we'll put in text. And finally, we'll put in contact. This will be for the contact form at the end of the script. Now we'll click on add step. And since we want an image on our website, we need to use the image module. So we'll go down and click the images. I already have an image loaded in, so we'll just use that one, but feel free to use whatever image you would like. Next, we'll go down and add another step. And this one will be the HTML code. We'll select the HTML module and add that to our workflow. Now I already have some HTML code that we can use here. It's posted on my GitHub and the link for that will be in the description below. So what we'll do is we'll go and grab that code. We'll copy this and then move it over into our workflow. We'll delete this and paste ours in. Now we have the HTML code. Let's move that image variable into our HTML. So there's a place that we can do that. We'll expand this. Now here's a really neat feature of Wayscript. We can take a variable that we define in another module, so that images module, and actually just drag it in to a different one. So we're dragging this into our HTML module and placing it where it needs to go. We'll place that right there for the image source, and then we'll collapse this. So now we have the URL, the image we want to pass, the HTML code that we want to pass, and now all we need is the response to pass it with. We'll go down to add step, and we'll click on HTTP response. We'll make sure this is set to 200, and we'll pass in the HTML code into the response content. This should already have the web page up for us. So now let's go and view it. We'll click on this URL and open that web page. And just like that, we already have our sample web page up. But right now, our form doesn't connect to anything. So let's go back to the Wayscript platform, and we'll fix that. We'll add a function by clicking this X, and now we need another HTTP trigger. We'll go down and grab that. We'll activate it. And this time, we need to add a path to our endpoint. We'll say submit will be that path. The output to this one will be the same as last time. So we'll have a name, then we'll have text, text, and then we'll have contact. So what we're doing is we're passing the parameters from the HTML code into this endpoint. Now we'll connect it to a Gmail module. So we'll go over and drag that into our workflow. I have a dummy email set up for this, so we'll just use that. We'll say we want an email to herself. So we'll pass in the email address that we want. We'll say the subject will be new contact. And the email body will have the name. So we'll drag that variable in, the text, and then the contact. Now we need to create the web page after we submit. So we'll click on the HTML module and put that in our workflow. We'll say something simple here, like we will contact you soon. Now we just need to pass it to a response. We'll do that the same way that we did last time. We'll go down and click on HTTP response, and then we'll just drag the HTML code into the response content. And now our form should be working on our personalized website. Let's go check it out. We'll go back to that website and refresh. We'll put in some dummy information down here. And now when we hit submit, we should be redirected which we are, and then on the Wayscript platform, we should see that there is an email sent to our email address that we used. 
and it's that easy to create personalized websites using the Wayscript platform. There's a ton more APIs, so there's a lot more functionality here. I just wanted to show you the baseline on how we can start using endpoints in Wayscript. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until next time.